guys, I'm Varp here. Um, okay, so, you might not recognize this. This is because nobody's seen it before except me and a couple other guys that are trying to. But, um, for exam week, I'm making uh, a group of us a race for wall map, or actually we're racing for heads. I came up with the idea with heads because of the their skeletons, which then got removed. So it's basically a race for wall map where it looks like somebody tried to be rational with heads because they did, and then it's just the exact same thing. But, that's not important. The point is that we still have three heads. And so it's just like that. And what I want to do right now is, because I didn't feel like playing Monstrosity today, um, I'm going to actually just kind of balance it. I've already balanced out the first dungeon, but I want to sort of just play through the entire thing still, just to get an idea of the entire feel of the whole thing. And so because of that, um, we're just going to play it like it is. I'm on Peaceful right now just to drop spawns. I'm gonna kill myself so at the time to zero, and then we're gonna just check it out. So, uh, game mode zero. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, there's no spawn set or anything. So, um, I'll fix that in a bit, but not right now. I mean, I get to use new scoreboards and everything, but I'm not even gonna bother with any of that. And so if it ends by, I all of a sudden forgot something basic, like when I was first testing this, I realized, oh crap, I did not add in any, um, swords, so I had, er, arrows, so I just kind of cheated them to give myself some of that kind of stuff. So that's happened a couple times, but, oh, that's right, uh, thank you, team, I, and then, do I need anything else? Oh, yeah, that's what I need. Let's do that. And then let's go. What am I doing? I have a mouse. Okay. So yeah, uh, I guess I should actually go through why I'm making this. So, as I've probably mentioned many times before, I'm not a huge map maker. This is this is going to be my first even medium-sized project. But because I'm pretty much the only guy at school who can use MC Edit or any of those things um, reliably, it kind of just made sense for me to make this, and I felt like making something. And so I did that. And that's pretty much about it. And so, yeah, it's... I'm trying to... I feel bad saying this because it's my own map, but there's nothing, like, huge or original about it. It just seems fun. And, yeah, I know I have monstrosity to play if I want to, but I didn't really feel like it. Oh, hello, lag. Oh, I wonder why that thing's happening, that lag thing. That's probably because my render distance is up too far. Sorry, one sec. Uh, there you go. Let's put it down to normal. And then change the phone down to 30 because we don't need that much. There we go. Oh. Oh, much nicer. Okay, not a bunch nicer, but it's nicer anyway. Hmm, where am I? Okay. Yeah, so I'm not speedrunning it or anything. This is just making sure that nothing is totally broken or anything. And I'm going to run through the entire thing, but... Or hopefully, anyway. I'm not sure how many episodes, if it'll take more than one episode. Hopefully, it'll just take one, but odds are it'll take more than that. That's fine, though. I don't really care. Did it? Did a vine just grow there? I kind of wasn't looking at the screen at the time because I didn't really need to. That was weird. Uh, okay, let's just get out of here now. We got in enough. Um. Okay, so. Drop down. See, this is actually the, um, I can't remember if it's the second or third version I made. I basically had a couple, I've just been sending it off to the guys I'm gonna be, uh, playing it with. Just to, you know, see if any of them have ideas for the testing it. Okay, let's uh, hide in a corner. And then not die. Okay. I wonder if it'd be smart just to wait for the sun to set in this situation. Okay, make you. As I mentioned earlier, uninverted scrolling is inverted, and it's really confusing for me. But that's okay. I can deal with it. Okay. Oh, stone pick. Uh, make a chest. Done. 
And I wonder if it'd be smart, because there is, you can, I, you can get iron pretty early in this, which is one of the things I'm worried for balancing, because it's right up there. But, um, you really actually, for the first dungeon, the way it's set up, you really don't need it. Because if you're, if you play it well, you don't really actually get in any f significant fighting. You just, um, I move right, I guess you'll see it when you're there. Or when I'm there, not when you're there. You will not be there, sucker. Oh, crap, that's what I didn't, um, I'm gonna give myself, there's a chest full of food, but I didn't get that, and so the balance is gonna be thrown off whack if I don't give myself some food. I'll do that in a, in a bit. Uh, actually, let's use that now. Give steak ten. I think that's how many I gave them. This sounds about right anyway. Okay. We go here. See, obviously, none of this, if we were actually playing the map, would be done this fast. I and mean, then let's just keep that back there. Half the torches. And then we go in. Oh, yeah, that'll be bad. This place will probably. I think it's. It's not full spawn, but it's. Let's find out. Yeah, it's not full spawn, but there's just one other place with a crap ton of mob spawners down there. So I guess it wouldn't be terrible, but I'm probably not within range of the spawners, and I don't really want to find out how close it is to full spawn. So let's just not find out. Okay. Right. Uh, right. I actually have not gotten to the dungeon with that thing in it. That one right there. I forget about it every time. This is going to be my first time um, getting it. It's not a wool dungeon. Or not a wool. Wool, I'm sorry. It's not a head dungeon. Yeah. The other thing is, I don't have any custom mobs in this map. I could get them, but the thing is, since I only gave myself two weeks to make it, um, I really wouldn't have enough time to play around in MC Edit, even copying and pasting it, because for some reason, my computer really does not like MC Edit. Oh, I just read something. Nope. What? Is it really that well lit? Shit. Well, this sucks. Uh, I guess night. Oh well. Mm, is it really? Okay. Something seems very off about this, and I don't like it. But that's... This was too easy to get, because it's... A nice thing. Okay, so I should explain the origin of this. So after school, a lot of times, um, there's like a bunch of us, obviously, as I mentioned beforehand, and we go on there. We go on a wall server. So, high pixels walls map. You, I'm assuming that you've heard of it. Um, but the thing about it is, um, we play it so much, we've gotten pretty good at it. So we've just got scree goals. So for the example. Um, now every time we have to play, before we make a diamond sword or anything like that, we have to make a diamond axe. And after you win, you just kind of kill the final guy with it, and then chop chop. Hence, chop chop. So, yeah. It's useful and nice against things. And stuff like that. Yeah, I have to, I guess I'll have to, will pumping up the area's difficulty even affect you? Because it was so bright there. That's what I'm kind of worried about. Get dead. Okay, death. No, just kill all of them. It was kind of annoying earlier, actually. I wonder if they're within. We're gonna want to actually. Tor Should I torch this place? Ah, uh, no, I can't decide. This is what happens when I think out loud. Nothing good. Okay. Where are they? There you guys are. You too. Uh, oh, there he is. You, you sound annoying. I don't like you. Um, pop, uh, um. Oh, they're so far away at this point that they really can't hurt me. Well, I guess they're ranged, so that doesn't really exist, but... I can pretty much 
run away in a corner anytime I want. Ooh, crap. Torches. I should not have just left half those. Oh, well. Ow. Get dead. Oh, okay. Are they dead? Sweet, they're dead. I killed them all. I am so good. I am so great. You two, I'm both doing fine, so... Wait, what? Oh, I ran into that thing. Yeah, I ran into that. Jeez. How do you even spawn? I think I lit this place up reasonably well. Okay, well, uh, I guess we're going to be conquering the actual dungeon part. Without torches, which is... Because of how it's set up, it's more doable than that sounds. It sounds like it's totally impossible. Um, when if you know how to beat it, it's pretty easy. The hard part is um, having people shooting at you. So, yeah. No problem with that there. Did I miss all those? Yeah, I missed all those. Wow, that was... Your bed. Damn XP. Move it. Okay. Uh. Right. Okay. I guess we're just gonna have to be very careful. Too many vines. We're gonna have to fix that problem too. Whatever. It is nice and annoying. I should have enough blocks. The first time I did this. Okay. And this is what it is. Um. Move it. And that's. I say, so all you really have to do is just while you're being shot at, pop out here occasionally. So if someone's a good shot, this area is freaking impossible, but it really depends on how good the people you're playing against are. And of course, for this, it's not really going to matter too much, because I'm playing against anyone. Which is why it's going to feel ridiculously easy. But this is also what I was not too worried, because where you pop out, it's chock full of spawners, but... Ah, oh, it's so much easier even if I just had one friggin' torch. Crap. Oh, I wonder. Uh, can I handle this? I should be just fine. That's a cave spawner. Crap. I knew there's a cave spawner, but it's still terrible. I should lock that thing up and wait a sec or two. Uh, regen. Such a good feeling. I wonder if it'd be smart for me to get out of range. Is there one here? Yes, there is. What about here? Oh no, I did that in the wrong order. Oh well. We're gonna need torches. I need a torch to place a block there. Yeah, torches make this thing so much easier. Okay, this should be possible though. So tip for this dungeon. Torches. That's all. You just need torches. Okay. Boom. Boom. Let's make a little top area. Now of course if I was doing this against people, aside from still being absurdly loud, I would also be dead. Um, because they're shooting at me. But, I think that, also, if I had torches, I would have been through this section a bit faster. And even though I probably would have gotten killed once or twice, we probably would be able to get the wolves still. So, I'm going to give myself a pass on this one, and complain that I was too dumb to make any more torches. Um, this is like, so this is also the first wool, but the reason I gave you this thing and a couple of unbreaking books, uh, I'll just take a couple. Mm, that should be enough. <laughs> a couple, of course. Just 16, no big deal. And now is the part where we only have one block on our half bar. Crap. There's no torches here. 
And so... <sighs> it feels so nice and calm after that now. Oh, we don't have any torches, so I won't be able to see anything. Actually, one second, let me check. Okay, it's bright. Got it. Uh, well, we're just gonna have to poke holes in the side of this thing then. Because I can't see anything. And so that probably means that you can't see anything. Let's pump up my brightness. Wee! Oh, now I can see things. This is wonderful. You probably still can't see things, but we'll be out in a sec. Uh, in fact, I might even... I'm not sure how people pump up the brightness in those videos. I mean, I know it's obviously possible. Ah, perfect. Done. I pumped up the brightness for you guys. You're welcome. Um... Okay. Here. You be good. Kill your friend. Damn it, you didn't kill your friend. In fact, you didn't even die. So, yeah, um. It's so much easier when you're not recording. There's so much less lag. That everything runs beautifully. I probably should have. If I was not recording, you would have made landed so many more of those shots. Okay, hopefully the spawn I didn't get anything spawning over here. The creeper house is behind me. So yeah, the idea of this area is pretty obvious. You saw the TNT. Um, I didn't put any buttons there just because I'm paranoid about me um, screwing up and accidentally blowing it up in creative. So I'm gonna do that last second. But yeah, and you were just bothering me. And of course, why didn't you just freaking walk? There we go. And so yeah. I mean, obviously, anyways, first thing to do is just break this thing. And so I'm just gonna get all the diamonds. Gold is just there for that. Originally, this entire thing was diamond, so I obviously had to rebalance that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, the other thing that I still have to fix is, this is just kind of a suggestion from one of the guys, but basically, um, I need more, whatchamacallit, more TNT cannons. And the problem is, I don't know where to put them. I mean, I've got, you'll see where they are. This part doesn't have very many, just because there aren't very many places to put them. I don't really feel like putting them in a dungeon, that just seems weird. Oh, I did not, I swear to god I didn't aggro you. I guess I can light you on fire, it's very good against you guys. And your brethren. There we go, okay, I didn't aggro you. Good, I'm glad you agree with me. You're very reasonable. Where are you be? Oh, remember the dungeon I took out earlier? Uh, where I got the... The one that was way too easy? And then I'm gonna have to pump up? That one? Hello, W key. You are not Q. Uh, yeah, that guy. Um, it's gonna be a pain to beat. Because I'm not sure how I lit it up. I guess there's... And now that, because since last time I, um, didn't open it up to, um, being, I never even got the, um, chop shop, I wanted to test it out, because I forgot to get it, because I forgot, or I knew it existed, just I, I missed the dungeon, because if you're not looking for it, just the way it's set up, it sort of mixes in with the, um, with the ceiling. And also, um, in case you're wondering how I actually managed to, uh, make out all these caves and stuff without world lit it, it's pretty simple. Tile drops off. Make a giant rectangle out of sandstone. Replace some of that with stone for this section. Add some randomness to that. Um, here. Let's set our spawn while we're at this. Done. Obviously, it'll never be... I'll never have that time to rest in a normal one, so I'm not going to give that to me now. This might be incredibly dumb. Actually, no, it's not, because you're going to have to return there. And this is one of the things that I actually like about how I set this thing up. Um... We'll see in a sec. But, um, there's, there's a giant pool of... No, 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 let's, let's not give it away. You have to watch the whole video. It's only been, what, 15 minutes, a bit more than that? Maybe a bit less? I'm not sure. All right, we're gonna put these guys back. Um, but, uh, first let's get back up. Or not back up, but let's get up. On this side. Now, obviously, if you're working in a team, you're not gonna have... You'll eventually have to do this, but because you can have one guy bridge over, and then maybe you'll have another guy run back, and kind of start on what I'm going to do. Oh hell, this is going to be ridiculously boring, let's just tower, maybe tower up. 
Oh, I can scroll. Oh, God. Um. Oh, well, I have those two books on me now, apparently. Oh, I think that plays up quite, quite well. That's good. Sorry, I just noticed that. Um. But. Because, because you're gonna have more people, basically. You're gonna run through this. It's gonna be more than twice as fast, I'd say. Because. Holy shit. That was close. Let's just regen for a little while. Okay, here he comes. Get dead. There we go. Yeah, this might be a little OP after this testing, but I'm not sure. It might not be. be. It might not. It. M Sorry. I don't know if this is a cold or something, but I don't know. I feel stuffy. It's a summer. It really shouldn't be true. Oh well. Um, but yeah, I might just wait till the day. But I'm not going to. Because I'm just going to wait until this. Well, hello. I didn't even know that lag thing could happen this badly just now. I jumped into a block that reappeared. I never even got black lag on singer. Black lag. I never get black lag on single player. Very bizarre. Oh, damn. I don't have a. I don't have a stone pick. Yeah. Uh, I'm very smart with these things. I know what has happened. Um. Oh god, yeah, this is being laggy. This is what happens when you record on a Mac. Um. One sec, my eyes hurt. My brightness. Ow. There we go. Hello, um, stuff. Yeah, thank you. Okay, that was the perfect way to, um, get exactly right back to where I was. Oh, yes, this is so much faster. Okay. Oh, hello. Anybody else? Nope. Okay. Pop down a couple torches. So yeah, the other thing I'm worried about is, well, obviously because I only had a week to make it, that it could be too short. But I'm not even going to bother with that, so we're going to want three, and then 27 more for basic armor. Now, you can, uh, here, let me point something out, uh, down in that thing over here, uh, there is iron near the back, but I didn't really get it because I didn't think about it at the time. Um, and also because you can get it up here. So, either way, so it, that's why I was saying it is possible for someone to start on the second section and get a really nice bow. And actually it's got flame on it, just that way I thought there might be a cool way where, um, if I pop in more TNT cannons, now you can start activating other people's TNT. Or instead of going all the way down here and pushing the button first, you can go up there, get the flame bow, and shoot it down. So I wanted just to see how people would act if that happened and I don't know we'll see how it works out I will I'm obviously not going to release it the day that we finally play it I'll probably balance it a bit more rename some of the items because most of them are inside jokes that no one will get and it will be really strange to play and the anti-atheist kind of makes us seem like terrible people um, I can explain that and I will when I find the item but that's my example uh, so, yeah. Things. Other thing I'm laboring about. Okay. Alright, so. Let me in. Alright. Okay, so next we're gonna have to. Okay, that's a lot of diamonds. Okay, I can't make any new tools, but we can start smelting. While I smelt, I can run back. Yeah, I'm not going to waste the diamonds, and because because this is going to be balanced for more people, I'm going to only, I mean, how many are there? Any diamonds? I might have to drop that number even more, because for four people, that's a bit more than five apiece. Alright, if I with four, no, it's a bit more than six apiece, so everyone will probably, might be a bit much, I'm not sure. 
I also might be a bit over geared. That could be bad. Oh well. Um. Yeah, this is the part that I think that I. This is my favorite part that you are forced to do to um beat it. Because again, the part after that tower thing has it has lava. So, um, you can either try to bridge across the giant lava hell storm area thing. It's not actually a storm. It's just hell. Um, or you can do what I'm going to do, which is the easiest place to get. No, no, I don't want to. Hello, six. Um, which is to get water. The only place that you can get water at this point, and I think uh, not until you run through the in most of the um, map until near the end. Okay, let's should I make one behind or in front of me? Uh, let's go behind. My armor is not that great, so I should probably go in front, but that's okay. Or would I be able to? Do? No, I'm not gonna be able to run off and hit that. Um, I hit the, I don't have a fence here. Not a yeah fence. Oh, hello! I did not notice you here. You're not worth a fancy axe. Whatever. You guys can't hurt me. I'm just gonna ignore you. Hello, guy shooting me off. Okay, well, that's actually not too bad. Okay, good. I died. That should happen multiple times. Because I'm not that great of a player at this. Hmm. I don't know if it would be smart to, uh. What other strategies can I use to get over there? I mean, I can always just go. I wonder if that actually would be better if I just go right underneath it. I have another chest plate, and that could be a reason why I died. Hmm, let's make a chest plate then. Well, at least I didn't break this. Let's drop these guys off. That's not what I wanted. Drop these two things off. And that thing too. It's very important. And chest plate. Boom. Yeah, I don't want to give my um bow. Oh, yes I do. It's right here, in fact. I thought I dropped the thing off because it wasn't here. And obviously I can't make errors like that. Oh. Oh, that was so nice and convenient. We're gonna run out of air soon, actually. Jeez. Alright, yeah, we're gonna just want to go and, um... Ooh, lag jump. Oh, this is gonna be a long video. I might have to cut it off early, actually. Yeah, I think that if I just... Oh, hey, I remember you. I'm gonna need my pick back now. That's annoying. Come on back. Please, I miss you. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of spawners here if you didn't notice. God damn. Stop. I mean, I guess I'm getting XP and I I mean, you can get a candy cable, but still. Hmm. Okay, so what's the point now, bro? We are going to jump up that thing. Like hell, I'm going to get up that thing. Looks like I'm lagging like crazy. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, how many hearts are we at? Uh, only gone down two and a half. Right, there's a shit ton of spawners here. So killing things isn't gonna help very much. Let's wait a sec. Cool down. That place is kinda crazy. 
I didn't realize how crazy it was. It was pretty crazy there. Hmm. Okay, one sec. This phone is ringing. I will be back. Hey guys, I am back. Sorry about that. Oh crap, I just realized that I, um, I didn't log out, so if that had been a long phone call, bad things would have happened, and I would have been sad. Right. That's weird, my chest place disappeared twice. Oh, no it hasn't. I'm wondering, I keep, every time I die. Okay, you know what? I think what I'm gonna have to say is I'm gonna have to cheat. Um, I'm gonna have to cheat and give myself, um, two things. Some of these. And then, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a farming area in the beginning. And so I'm gonna give myself a raw, two, two raw block, a raw block of water, because that's probably what I'll do, because I'm not gonna get anybody to fuck it. I can't give them good ideas like that. And so we're just gonna smelt, start, smelt starting up right, like, there. Smelt start right lighting up. And then wait, right. So you might notice also here. So I guess, yeah, 24, because... No, yeah, yeah, two of them are used for that. You can get four obsidian. I'm actually not going to bother with the enchanting table just because I don't want to. I think it'll take too long, even though I know those things make a huge difference. But, I don't know. I don't feel like it. That's right. If I were playing against an opponent also, um, when I took that thing out over there, um, I would have taken out all the TNT because that's the element that I like, that the flame blow, the flame blow blings in. The flame bow brings in all these spoonerism. All these spoonerisms. It's so confusing now. Um, is that you can take out things that even after they've cut the redstone, you can, which I, which I like. I think that adds an interesting element. I can understand if you don't, but I think it's cool. Um, I probably should not be rushing forward, but I can run back during the night, just like what I thought you could do in the last map. Now there's a couple silver fish places, but I should be safe. This thing is just to um, scare you a little bit. Not the silver, the silver fish that is not the, um, not the tiny hill. Also, um, if anybody has a good idea on how to enchant or not enchant, to make um, you'll see the giant tower with a, a meth bow inside of it, to make it look a bit prettier. It's mostly just to encourage people to shoot the sh crap out of each other. I know for a fact this is, most of the ones on the bottom are silverfish, so I'm going to just take this thing out. And it's just some food, that's right. Alright, let's light this thing up. Actually, I could just blow the bottom of it up and not have to worry about it up again. This is the area I was referring to. Um, so yeah, it's, I think it's a bit too easy to be honest, because there's only one of these things which have stuff in it. But, I don't know. I think I gave them too much food at this point. Oh well. I don't really want food to be a problem. That's not an element I want them to have to grapple with. The player that is. It's weird that it was plural. That 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 was plural. Oh, did you see my hat? No, you did not. I wonder why you have that then. Right. Um. Oop. Bum -bum. Very happy I made these um little tiny drop things though. That was very smart of me, if I do say so myself. No, nope, we don't do that. That's against the rules. Um I was gonna make something. Oh yes. So, yeah, call me cheater, but that should not be that tough. Nope. I wonder if they actually added that as well as we I mean obviously it's completely useless, but still be interesting to pop. Um, done. And you can do that. In, you can do that if you don't have creative. You can still place those blocks. I'm not sure if people think you can't, but that's okay. Oh, derp. Yeah. So that was the wrong armor. Other way. I wonder why I'm not making diamond armor. Oh, right. That was why. I even said it. Yeah. Uh.
You do want a diamond sword though. I don't have enough wood to make them. That's why I'm not making them weapons. I do like that. I know I can get some later though. Um, actually, I can probably just take that whole place out right now. Um, half of this and these guys. I don't need that much. Pants up. Need seven. Perfect. Okay, and back up. Alright, so we only have two weapons. Let's just get this guy up and ready anyway. And if we, um... Okay, I like how you can't get back easily, though. I'm tempted, actually, to make it back that way. Just so that people have to, um be very good at things, or have somebody aggro all them. Hello, creeper. Um, no, please don't marry me. Do you have a plan? You have a plan. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. Okay, note to self. Creeper will attack someday. I didn't even realize that I, that I didn't block off that path on accident at one point or another. I thought I would have. Jeez, crazy AI. Hey, I, I, you'd think that they could, you know, become that good at pathfinding, which I guess isn't actually that hard. You come with one thing, it applies to everything they can make. The dogs not suck, but. I don't know. Uh, it's probably a completely different thing that you have to do. In fact, it, it would be a different, completely different thing. Hello, yes, I'm just going to walk around to you. Go. Fried zombie is the best kind. Oh, okay. Hmm. Let's not just drop. I am tempted to drop that TNT, though. Well, I guess I don't have anything to blow it up with, though. So, I won't do that. And I will just drop. Right, so when I first tested this map, I forgot to, um, to fill that area up with lava. And damn, that was actually pretty tough when you do that. It's amazing how much, how nice lava is, even when it's, um, a bad thing that will kill you very easily. It's kinda convenient. Okay. It's good to see I'm guessing this place can't be a yeah, okay, the spawns must be actually pretty high in that area. There's nothing hurting me here. The good thing I'm worried about is does that cause a block update? That does cause a block update. Okay. I guess it's just a little bit. That's fine then. Okay, and here's the other part that's going to be scary. Um, these spawners. I'm going to want to keep the lava up, which is why I'm not going to um, place it. Because there's 18... Yeah, 18 blaze spawners there. Holy crap. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um. This may or may not be very good. There's fire here. Right. So. Just bum rush him, I guess. Got him. Good. Damn it, let me kill your spawner. No, 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 that's the wrong way. Okay, um. Uh, oh! That might actually work. Haha. I am so smart. Okay, so, here's the plan. I just locked myself in here just to think, apparently. Um. Four. I'm going to take these jerks out first. 
And I will drop TNT right in the middle of that place. Die. I'm out of arrows. I guess we just go head on with them. And so what we're going to do is not get hit by them. And then we'll get hit by them. Let me run away. Oh shit, my water is there. Which means all my crap could have gotten on about there. That's not good. That's not good. Well, we'll have to figure out which route that creeper took. Actually, let's just do this. When I warned you that I was going to play test it, that included me going to occasional creative. Because I'm gonna, I mean, obviously, no team's gonna put all their, um, I'm gonna wait for that guy to disappear for a little while. Because I can't have him just walking right to me. That's really not doable. But because no team's gonna put all their fish in one basket, uh, I, I mean, if stuff like this happens, I really don't have a choice but to go on creative, or else I can't continue because I'm rough. I'm also trying to play this like a team would. That is, yeah, like this situation. I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm just gonna have to switch in and out of peaceful real quick because if that blew up the pick, then well, crap. Yeah. Um, good thing we can have to. I guess everybody's gonna just have to get something. Make it would take me have enough spares. So, what stuff? Did I lose anything big? No, not really. I mean, I lost some armor, but that's given. Yeah, okay. I think that's reasonable. Now we want to hide for a second and gear up. That's the part where your teammates are like, oh crap, oh crap, there's a bunch of blazes. Handle them, versus this is the part where I'm like, oh crap, oh crap, we have to do, I have to figure something out now. Which is why I don't feel bad about switching to creative then. Okay, this is when getting a pick out will be very smart. Can I break the sword? I guess the sword got blown up, that's okay. Dead. Jerk. They're both diamond damn it, it's close enough. If we just drop some water here, I wonder if it'd be smart. Nine water boom done. I broke the water. And this is when you realize that you don't have a choice. Like that. And this is when you realize that you still are totally screwed. Um, right, we don't want to go in that direction. I guess it's turning into a what not to do. How am I on fire? How was I catch on... I'm so confused. Yeah. Okay, so let's just assume that thing didn't happen. Um, I'm gonna gear up with the stuff I had. So, I'm, I think that that place is actually pretty beatable, just, I failed. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take those things out in creative. Cause it felt like I should have been able to beat that, just I was... I definitely was screwing up somewhere because that was very confused. Hey, all those particles are making my game my game laggy as hell. One second, let me try something. Option. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that those things are making my game laggy as hell. So they're going bye bye. I mean, you see, 
all this insanity. That should not be legal. I'm serious, so look at that. Look at that crazy. Look at that crazy. Wait, what? I don't even get it anymore. I think that this is definitely a bug. Um, that's definitely a bug. This is my solution. Yeah, this way doesn't. Much. Much less like. Actually, I'm kind of curious to this. Yeah, a lot less like. I tell you. Hmm. That's really bizarre. If someone knows what that bug is, please tell me because I do not understand. Yeah, this is a lot less like. You know, so, um, let's go. What did I? Oh, wow, I didn't really lose much. So, I guess we'll just go back into survival and pretend that we um, beat that place. Just keep it a secret. Oh, we won a water bucket, of course. Uh, there we go. Screw you, water bucket. And done. Alright, so let's just make a path to this entire place. No, wait, we don't want it. We do not want a nice easy pass. Path for things to kill us with. And so this is what I was. Another thing that I wasn't sure about. Oh right. Well, obviously, up the lava falling is causing some lag too. It should run faster at home. I'm not at home. I am at home, at school. But we're gonna want to go here. Um, there is not a wall here, but there are some other good things here. Okay, perfect. And, and the other things, I don't remember what they are. Oh, right, this is the one where you get the um, the flame bug that I was referring to. Which, even though it's not gonna be that great, um, in this case, just because I'm playing against other people, um, the thing I actually had to nerf it, and I think it still might be a bit OP. So, the idea is that it's good. It might be a bit too good, and I might have just broken the seat. Not CTM, the um, race for the world rules there, but that's okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Alright, so you finally get coal. And the place we want to go is. That's, a, that's just the troll part. It's just annoying. And I might hate myself for putting it in there. This is the coal mine, so we're gonna wanna go. Oh, it isn't the troll part. Good. Never mind. I think it originally was, I mean, what should I put here? And then I decided to put in the bow, which ended up being a very good idea. I do not, I do not regret that at all. So, I did that. Uh, right. I'm really, I've been pretty good about attacking these things in the day. It's the same deal right here, what is up with that? It's really bizarre. I wonder why that is happening. Oh, oh wait, we don't have any wood. Let's just give ourselves some torches because, again, a smart person would get more. I should probably make an easier way to get wood aside from just the beginning. Hmm. I'm gonna place block that I missed. Oh yeah, this is the dungeon that's going to lag the crap out of me. I'm going to have to test at school. Um, not this one, but the one after that. You hear those fireworks? I put those there. It was intentional. Aside from just being awesome in fireworks, um, it since it screams, Hey guys, guess who's here? It makes the dungeon itself um, actually significantly tougher. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's take you out. And the pros could be useful, especially in the last section, but not for me. Jesus, yeah, particle thing happening is really annoying. I wonder if one sec. Let me try relogging. Um, relogging solves the problem. That's really bizarre. Oh well. Yeah. So um, we have 
this thing. Okay, so before someone tells me that I'm a horrible person for naming an item, the anti atheist can give me a chance to defend my settled king fort. You see, um, the guy who I named this the father is part of our group, but the way he is, he is kind of one of those people. I don't know why I'm talking like this. It's really weird. Okay, this is so laggy. I think once I finish telling this story, maybe go a bit further. I'm just gonna have to quit. I wonder what this is. The spawn shouldn't be active. I guess it says I'm in this area. I might, um, turn down the I'm not sure if I'll be able to turn down the range. Crap, the only reason I talked to you because it was part of TMI. I thought they wouldn't. I thought they'd have a standard spawn range, but evidently they don't. I mean, I was flying around there. But I turned off sound after a bit because I was waiting for vines to grow. And so I this is the first time I've really actually had sounds on. But yeah, so basically he's one of those. So like, there are the normal human atheists, and then there are those atheists who are just like, um, I'm an atheist, how are you today? And just will not shut up. And he's one of those people. And it gets really annoying. He's like a Jehovah's Witness atheist, basically, except for without the Jehovah's Witness part. Um, so basically, I found a way superior to be, found a way to be superior to both of them. If you read XKCD, you get that joke. But anyway, um, actually speaking of Jehovah, Jehovah's Witnesses, there's actually a church right by my house, and they come by sometimes. Anyway, aside from that digression, um, if you're Jehovah's Witness, I'm sorry, but you do stop by a lot, and it can get kind of annoying. Um, anyway, aside from that digression, basically he doesn't shut up. Yeah, okay, so let's just get to the first main area. I'll try to show you guys the whole intent of the bow. This, So, if you don't get the bow, you can have another person rush this part and just start taking out their TNT. Um, yeah, this is, that's really weird. I guess that's what it, what it does. So you see how there's randomly, it's not stopping for a line. I'm guessing that that's a chunk. Like, it's a line between two different chunks, but I'm not sure. Like right there. I don't know, let's find out. Water goes eight blocks, so that's eight. Then we should draw a line right before that. No. Hello. Oh, it did. Yeah, that was a chunk right there, because that was right after the eight. Okay, so damn it. I'm not gonna make it to the end. Okay, well, you guys will see the most probably the most is that a spider jockey? I don't think I've seen one of those in survival before. I don't play one in survival, but still, yay. You're dead. He's got an enchanted bow, too. Oh, that was an spider jockey. Nope. God damn it. He's got a what's it enchanted with? Jeez. Well, go buy three parts of this thing's durability. What's hitting me? Did I hit me? I hit me. And at this point, I should be dead, but I'm not because get dead. Hello, guy. Get dead. Because I have a fancy bow. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just, um, I just wanted to give you guys kind of a feel of what this thing's gonna be like. You haven't even seen the last part yet, I guess I'll keep that as a surprise-ish thing. It's trigger games because you've gotten everything else in the beginning, um, to make an enchanting cable, so now you can actually get an enchanting cable up. Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, please die. You, and you die. Good. Where's guy number two? Yeah, let's just take out this section. Okay. Hello. I guess I can't complain about ladders not having hitboxes, because this isn't a ladder. And ladders do have hitboxes. That's really a completely invalid complaint. Alright, so. Boom. And there was a, one of the guys I sent this to was saying that the TNT cannons didn't work, so. I will prove him wrong on film. And if I end up being wrong, then this is going to be possibly the best ending ever. Not sure if water messes with it, but 
I don't want to find out. Okay. I suck with TNT cans, but I know how to work them. So, push this button. That's not how I push the button. That's right, you can't hold the shift anymore. We push this button. One, two, three, four. We push that button. Did you see how much of this thing blew up? Oh, what the hell? Oh. Derp, 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 derp. That's... Wait, I'm not done with this thing yet. Okay. I guess you can also get your up there. Oh, my arm. Well, my arm's dead, so I'm going to end this video here. But I'm going to end it in a fun way, because it's... Oh, right, I should also probably show you the real reason that I... the Or not the real reason, the second reason that I made this. Um, one of the weapons. Let's get up here, glass cannon. Oh, those things don't match, that bothers me. But, oh god, so many vines. The vines are good, they make it harder to see and easier to die. But they're still annoying. See that TNT there? Boom. That's why. And couple ammo. And also, don't worry, you run the same risk with this TNT cannon because that's a nice and easy couple ammo. I'm not sure if you notice. Let's just make it easier to notice. Couple ammo. And then also, that's a trap chest right there behind that TNT. So, with that kind of destruction, um, there's one more cannon over here. That kind of destruction, I'm just gonna end the video here. So, uh, bye guys. That's a lot of skeletons. They'll never take me alive! Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.